You don't need to have a swimming pool. You can use the ocean, a river, a lake, anywhere where the water is deep enough for you to get your head underneath to do these exercises. On this video, I'm gonna give you four great exercises that you can do in water that will really help improve your boxing. Exercise number four is a Muhammad Ali style training method. And I'm sure you've seen Muhammad Ali under the water doing his boxing. Well, on exercise number four, I'm gonna show you exactly that, how to do it and it really is a lot harder than it looks. My name is Tony Jeffries, Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. There's so many benefits of training in the water and I think a big one is that it's really low impact, a zero impact on your joints. And it is probably one of the best resistance training methods that you can do. And we all know the benefits of resistance training. They're so good. So these four training exercise methods I'm gonna give you won't just improve your overall cardio and fitness and help you burn fat, but they will help improve your hand speed, your stamina as well. Number one is running. You want to get the water so it's about up to your chest height. That's going to increase the resistance when you're trying to run backwards and forwards. And as well with you being in the water doing runs, it's going to be very little pressure on all of your joints that you might feel when you're running outside on the concrete. Number two is shadow boxing. Now you want to get in there so it's up to your neck. And when you're throwing these punches, the resistance is a lot. It's really hard to punch in the water. It's really hard to keep your good form and good technique, but it's crucial that you do that. Number three is an exercise that I learned from the Olympic team strength and conditioning coach. I had an injury on my leg when I was training for the Olympics and I couldn't run properly. He had me doing this in deep water and it is an absolute killer. It really helps build your overall fitness and stamina. If you notice, I'm in the water, I'm really deep, so my feet can't touch the floor. I'm moving my arms and legs as fast as I can. Even though my body is moving through the water very slowly, I'm giving it 100% effort. Now with this exercise, you can do different intervals. You can do 30 seconds on, a minute off, whatever you like. But this exercise here is probably the hardest exercise that you can do in water. And number four, shadow boxing under the water. This is very difficult. We're supposed to be breathing as we're punching, but obviously you're underwater, you can't breathe. You've got to keep popping up to get some fresh air in your lungs and coming back down to throw them punches. Now, because your body is full of air, it's so difficult to steer down there and throw the punches. It just wants to come back up. So that there makes it even harder. When you're boxing, you're in an uncomfortable situation. Being under the water doing this is a very uncomfortable situation. So you're not just training your body, you're also training your mind to be in these uncomfortable situations. It's totally up to you for how long you do this for, but I just want to say, when you are doing this, make sure you're safe. Make sure you there's someone around you because it can be pretty dangerous. Oh, that was tough. So that's it there, four exercises that you can do in water. And I am absolutely exhausted. That was tough. It's been a long time since I've done them exercises, but I wanted to share them with you because there's some of the exercises there, like I said, I did when I was training for the Olympics and there's a ton of benefits to them. And a great thing as well with these, you can do them if you've got most injuries, bad hands, legs, back, shoulders, but that being said, if you have got them injuries, don't just jump in there and do it straight away because I said so, you know, feel it out and see what works for you. If you've got any questions about any of these, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel for a lot more boxing education videos. Thank you for watching.